Hey, welcome back. This is Beat the Bush, and today I'm gonna show you how to eat a live surf clam. This is wild caught live surf clam. This is about four dollars and twenty seven cents. When you buy this at the supermarket, sometimes it's better when you can find them that's dry, like they're not submerged in water because that'll reduce the weight of your clam and so it costs less. And if you're a long ways from home, wherever the market is, make sure you buy and get some ice and uh, put it along with the clam and then you can bring it home and it'll last longer. When you bring it home, don't be tempted to stick the clam in any kind of tap water or anything, you're just gonna kill them. It's better just put them on top of a bed of ice and just let them be. Put it in the fridge and it'll last till the evening. To check that they're alive, you just kind of uh, squeeze them a bit, right? And then they would uh, contract and close. They'll usually open up if they're dead and uh, if you poke at them, just poke, don't poke with your finger because they might close in and bite your finger or something. Poke it with something and then they should close up. When they're alive, you can either eat them raw or you can eat them uh, slightly blanched. I wouldn't recommend to cook them because if you overcook them, it's very easy to overcook them and they would uh, be very rubbery and tough. If you do blanch them, just blanch them for maybe about a couple seconds. That's all it takes. And then uh, take them out, run them through cold water. So now let's open this up and see uh, how to dissect it. Ideally, you want to wait until it's uh, relaxed a bit so then you can stick the knife through in there and cut the, the two cartilage thing. It's right here and right here. You, you want to go in and cut those so that it can't close it. Let's try that. See all this, all this water that came out. Okay, this little ligament you don't want. This piece, uh, it's edible. I'm just grabbing more of that ligament out. So let's save this and just cut along the bottom. Okay, so this piece, you want that, and you want this other ligament piece. This is the lip. I don't have any scientific terms for these, so I'm just gonna call them as I see them. So you notice the lip has all these little dirty stuff. Just scrape those off with your knife. Remove this little lip piece here. Same with the other side. You can see it's a little slimy. We'll deal with this after we clean up all the pieces. Here's the main piece. I'm just gonna slice it in half through the middle. There's this clear piece that looks like a noodle. I eat that. And what I don't eat is this uh, membrane, this darker color membrane here. And then these gill-like things, you never eat them, even in fishes, so I'm not gonna eat these gill things either. After you clean it up, you this is a piece that's a bit too big, right? So you just slice them at an angle like this. Like bite-sized pieces, so I did them in four. You do the same thing to the other side. Now you slice them this way. They're thinner. Two, three, four. So you've got four pieces. All this other stuff you just throw away. Okay, so you just put some salt, mix it with water. Put all the good pieces that uh, you sorted out. 
So wash it in the salty water and uh, this will help get rid of some of the sliminess. Good way that you can uh, help get rid of some of the sand is after you wash it like this. Just take them out piece by piece. So there you have it, it's done. You just eat it raw like this with some wasabi and soy sauce. Here was the mouthpiece right here and some extra parts. This is the beginning part. These tend to be a bit more chewy, so when you cut them, you might want to put some incisions uh, all along without cutting through the whole piece. These are the four pieces of the main muscle. Here's the other four of the main muscle. Here are the pieces that look like scallops and they close up the clam. Just take these and uh, enjoy. That's all there is to it. So a lot of saltwater creatures you can actually eat raw. But the thing to note is that when you get them, you have to make sure they're alive before you can eat them raw. And also, there could be parasites inside the, the flesh, right? So when you're cleaning it and looking at it, you gotta make sure it looks, it looks healthy, right? If it looks like almost dead and stuff, and maybe there's like a worm or something, of course you shouldn't eat it or else you're gonna get some worms or something. So that's, that's always the danger. And so when you clean and um, eat your own sashimi, you gotta make sure it's, uh, it's healthy. So I guess I should eat some of this on camera and kind of describe what it tastes like. These large giant clams, they taste very similar to mirugai or uh, long neck clam. The main piece is right here. So let's give it a try. It tastes like long neck clam, it tastes like the clam. It's a little chewy, it tastes salty, and it also tastes sweet from, from the flesh. It's because it's so fresh, it's, it's live. The lip part of this, it's a bit chewier. It's nice to have one whole clam and you just eat different parts of it. And it's kind of like a cow. You eat maybe a steak piece and then maybe you eat a flank, you know? So different parts of the clam will taste differently. Yeah, it's definitely chewier. It tastes like the sea, it's like um, salty. You can see when I cut up the main muscle part, towards the end there's all these gooey stuff I didn't remove. I, can't, I tend to like um, eating that, so I just remove most of the really dark internal glands or whatever organs and stuff, but, but it's slightly gooey from here and um, I tend to like that and I just cut it up the way that I like to eat it. You can eat it, eat it sashimi style like this, or just cook some short grain rice and have it on top kind of like a chirashi. This is basically is sushi. Here's the scallop looking muscle part. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click like and like leave a comment down below for how the heck to dissect this if you have problems. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel somewhere over here or here. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, so I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of that uh, giant clam. I'm gonna have some of this oatmeal stockyard stout. Supposedly it's a really good beer from Trader Joe's. I like it. It's not one of the best that I've had, but uh, it's pretty good. Hmm.